I feel like I died. Um, I'm not happy with it. Um, I made it harder than what it needed to be. But you know, I, 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 I had fun. You know, I'm not just playing out the victory. Um, but you know, we just gotta go back and watch it. Go back to the drawing board and you know, keep getting better. Yeah, Abner Mares, our, our ringside commentator, mentioned that. He said he, he thought you were making a more difficult fight on, on yourself, like, you know, engaging inside. And, but but you, you performed really well fighting him on the inside. Tell, tell us more about how you fought him on the inside like that. Um, I mean, we, I, in the training camp, you know, Ravy, uh, you know, he pushed me hard. You know, he gets me to throw a lot of punches. Um, like I said, man, I thought I could have done way better. I could have boxed him. Um, I don't know, maybe I wanted to give the crowd excitement. You know, it's been a minute since we had a crowd, so I think that kind of played a factor. But, you know, like I said, I'm not going to complain. I got to, you know, a win's a win. But, you know, you learn from them each win, and you get you got to get better. Yeah. And uh, you, 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 Carlos Burgos, I mean, Juan Carlos Burgos turned back the, the clock on himself. He hasn't performed like that, you know, in, in a few years as our, as our ringside uh, commentators pointed out. Uh, did you feel, what did you feel about the booze in the crowd afterward? I mean, you, you clearly, you won. 99-91 mm -hmm. uh, was maybe the reason why they, they booed. Uh, what do you I, mean, I, I mean, even when, yeah, you know, I let myself get caught with a few good punches I shouldn't have let landed. But um, even when he was, when I was on the ropes and he was throwing, I was catching a lot of them and slipping a lot of them. I mean, if you can go back and watch it, sometimes I was just relaxing there and I was moving my shoulder and I was catching them. So, you know, the fans, everybody has their own opinion. Um, I got the W and, you know, they want to complain, they go to complain. Uh, any questions from the, the audience? Xavier, um, this performance here, obviously you're focused on your, your own um, your own fight, but compared to what Devin Haney and Hector Kanahara did to him, how would you um, rate your performance and do you, are, are you satisfied with it in terms of how they did and you did comparing the, the performances? I mean, you know, everybody performed, you know, at their own pace. Um, like I said, I thought I could have done better. I could have boxed them more. But like I said, I think um, I wanted to give the fans action, you know. Um, on that part, you know, I shouldn't have let that happen. But, you know, I'm not complaining about – I got the victory, you know. And um, like I said, I'm going to go back to the drawing board and I'm going to get better. What, what kind of opponent do you want? Do you want this kind of opponent, like a veteran, a proven top fighter, or do you want to scale it back? Like, what do you want next? I mean, whatever my team um, has in short, you know. Um, I fought two, you know, very experienced fighters back to back. You know, I just fought a person who fought for the title three times, and then I just fought a former world champion. So, you know, I, I like these fights, and I'm not gonna complain. But, um, you know, whatever my team has for me in store, you know, I'll take it. Xavier, uh, you yourself said that you thought you made this fight a little closer than you should have. Mm -hmm. uh, the scorecard, obviously, nine to one and everything. What are your, not your thoughts on the scorecard, but what do you think, how close was that fight according to you? Um, to me, I feel like it wasn't that close. I mean, I probably could have gave him like a round or two. You know, I sometimes I sat back a little too long. But um, like I said, even when he was throwing, I was catching and I was slipping. Hey, Xavier, how difficult, how tough was this opponent for you? Um, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't that tough. Like I said, I made it tougher on myself. You know, I could have made, made it a lot easier. Um, but you know, like I said, you know, just go back to John Boy and you learn from it. Xavier, uh, 23 years old, 17-0, what's next for you? What can we expect? Um, whatever my team has in store for me, you know. Um, they want to give me a title shot next, and I'll be more than happy to take that. Um, you know, like I said, whatever my team has in store, you know, I'm ready to fight anybody who they put in front of me. It don't matter who it is. And, you know, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to talk to my team probably within a week, and, you know, we'll go from there. There's a lot of talent at 130. Is there a particular champ you have your eye on? I mean, no one particular, but, you know, I do have rivalry. I mean, Chris Colbert have a rivalry. I mean, that's not a, a secret. Everybody knows that. So, you know, if we can make that happen, you know, that'll be cool too. I think that'll be a great fun fight for both of us. Thank you. Congratulations on your victory tonight. Thank you. <clears throat> Do you think that based on your performance tonight that, and I was going to ask you about the Chris Colbert thing. Do you think that you feel like uh, about where you and Chris Colbert is coming closer with this win tonight? Um, yeah, most definitely I think it is. Um, you know, he, he has to fight Gambo. You know, I'm sure he's going to win, you know, and, um, you know, we'll see what happens after that. Um, you know, like I said, whoever they put in front of me, it don't matter, but, you know, he's someone that will probably end up fighting. How do you feel like you match up versus Chris Colbert? I think it's a great side of fight. You know, I think, um, you know, he's a boxer, you know, I come forward, you know, um, I think that fight right there, you know, we could cause a lot of fireworks with that one.
Speaking of fireworks, you guys exchanged a lot tonight. Were you hurt at any point during the during the bout? No. All right, I think that's everything. Thank you, Xavier. All right, thank you.